What are we doing, little peach? We're checking out Burn Bradley cheese sticks. Yeah. They're in Woodbury, New Jersey. Did I say it wrong? No, I just don't know if they're mainly cheesesteaks or there's people like them. Okay, well, cheese. we're checking out Burn Bradley and we are getting a cheesesteak because we've seen um, on the South Jersey food scene that a lot of people really like their stuff. The real one or the other one? The real one. The real South Jersey food scene where you can be real. Oh, no, maybe it's just the other one. I don't know. I've seen them on there, too. So we're going we're gonna to go. They're right there. <laughs> there. <laughs> and she's there. <laughs> it's a pretty gloomy day out. Gloom and doom. It's a Wednesday. Wednesday. See, it says Bryn Bradley. Okay. And they have uh, Hershey's okay. ice cream. Their family owned and operated. Mm -hmm. Right there. Ooh, they have ice cream. Luckily, they're open because everybody else we wanted to go check out today was not open. I'm about to fall. Okay. 11 to 4. Cooper Sharp, look at all that Cooper Sharp. What are you doing? You want to just get one to split? Yeah, okay. I don't want to be super picky. Okay, so we're going to do a cheesesteak with the Cooper Sharp. Did so you want to do a 10 or a 16 ounce? Um, do a 16 ounce. 16? What kind of cheese did you want on that? The Cooper Sharp first? Hard on it? Uh, Look at that, potato chips. I'll have a potato when it's ready, okay? Okay, all right, thank you. You're welcome. I like those potato chips. Look at all that Cooper Sharp cheese. All right, so we got the cheese steak. Thank you. Obtained. So, what is this? This is a 16 ounce uh, Bryn Bradley cheese steak. With fried onions and Cooper Sharp cheese. Cooper Sharp cheese. Yes. And it was uh, seventeen sixty because they do upcharge for the Cooper Sharp. You may have to take pictures of your phone. Okay. Here, yeah. you can take the pictures of my phone because you always complain. Not a good enough picture. Oh, I look so tasty. There we go. Look at that seated roll. All that meat. Super sharp cheese. Oh, and it smells so good. It does. It do. I'm gonna take pictures now. So you probably you're probably wondering, hey guys, why don't you have work on a Wednesday? Well, I had taken the day off for a doctor's appointment, and Jeff freaked out. Tell this story. Forgetting that I had a doctor's appointment, and came busting in our bedroom door at eight a.m. Freaking out! Why didn't you text me? Why didn't you text me? Because Jeff works forty minutes away, and when we used to live up in um, Trenton. I worked 40 minutes away. So we always text each other like, hey, I'm at work, whatever. Well, since Jeff gets to work before I do, he typically texts me as I'm on my way to work. Well, today I was sleeping in because I had the ability to. And <laughs> instead of waking up gradually, whenever my body decided to, I got woken up to Jeff freaking the fuck out at 8 a.m. Yeah. And I drove all the way home. I left work. I ran. When I wasn't driving, I was running. When I was driving, I was driving 100 miles an hour, the whole 40 minutes home. Because uh, why? Why? Why do you worry so much? Because I love a peach. That's why I worry. So all the people out there that says, "Oh, he's negative, or he's rude, or he doesn't treat her right." That's how much I love her. I drop everything and I drive home 40 minutes. He's a good guy to make sure 
What do you mean all the people? Like, there's, is there more than that one girl? I don't know. There might be more people. He's a good boyfriend or, and soon to be really good husband. I am I have no complaints. Well, no, I do have a complaint. Uh, he needs to wait until, like, I'd say 10. Like, you haven't heard from me by 10, then freak out. Here's the thing. I get to work at 6.30. I normally text Peach that I'm there and that I love her. I normally hear back from her by like 6.35 to quarter of because she's got to get up and go to work by 7. So when I don't hear that back, that's the initial worry. Once 7 o'clock hits and I haven't heard anything back and she should be at work, that starts from worry to panic. Anything after that, doomsday scenario. So once I called her 30 times. 32. And then. But only one text message. I left. And then when I got there, once it was eight by 8 o'clock, and I still hadn't heard anything, then I'm in full freak out mode when I get up and her car's still in the parking lot. So I'm like, okay, well, she's here. And then I run inside and she's in bed. And all that stuff happened. Yeah. So that's why we are doing this on a Wednesday. And um, the whole, like, our drive here was about 20 minutes. And that was longer than the whole process of ordering and getting the food. So it took maybe, like, 10 minutes. Okay. So which half of this do you want? I want this half. Okay. <laughs> I want that. You, you can have it. I'll take the no. other one. Okay. So... Wow. <laughs> Are you doing a mukbang right now? Well, well, do that. We could just, you know. That's a good tree thing. Yeah, that's so good. Our roll is nice. Mm -hmm. Not soggy. Love the seeds. The meat's cooked Just well. Cooked well, not overcooked. Mm -hmm. Right amount of cheese, not overly cheesy. Not overly oniony. Um, but you know, if you like overly cheesy, Ask then you for get extra cheese. Exactly. Doesn't need to be initially super cheese. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Uh, and the onions are just the right size. Because mm -hmm. if they were bigger than that, little peach would throw fit. Mm -hmm. don't she do don't that. like, she don't like big onions. Mm -hmm. She only likes big pumpkins. <gasps> All right. So we're going to eat these and we'll check back in when we're done. Daddy. And we're back after eating that cheesesteak. Look at that peach. I am full. And you know what? That was one of the best cheesesteaks I've ever had. Yeah, you were not here for the, the eating of the cheesesteak. She thoroughly enjoyed that Yeah, it was so good. I did as well. I think we might be on par for the most part mm -hmm. of where uh, the, this cheesesteak fits in with some of the best ones we've had. Mm -hmm. So at the top for us is Meatheads mm -hmm. out of Lawrenceville, New Jersey. Now, Peach was kind of having some... So uh, Jeff ooh. was asking me this while I was eating, and... I was having a really hard time being like, which do I like more? Because I love Meathead cheesesteaks. We've been a big fan of theirs for a long time. Um, but it's not convenient to go up there anymore because we don't live near there. Um, and we've been trying to find a place near us that we really like. And while this isn't like right down the road, it's still closer than Meatheads. But... What I was saying to Jeff is, I think that Grim Bradley maybe seasons their meat differently or does something. There's like a flavor there that is different than Meatheads. So while they are very, very similar, kind of almost like the cheesesteak I had today better because there was that flavor in the meat that I really liked. And I think I'm going to have to agree. Yeah. When it comes. It's very... It's like Meatheads, now Brim Bradley, they're like, uh, uh, yeah. kind of like, like that. I'd say they're tied for first in like our ranking. And then there was, below that, 
what, was, what did you say Gould's was below? Burger. Gould's Burgers, Curly's, mm -hmm. uh, Gould's Burgers in Haddonfield. They have a couple locations. I think they have one in Medford. And then they are also, the, um, they own something else. It's like Crumb, yeah. I think. But it's kind of like the same recipe owned by the same guy or people. And then, you know, Curly's, Delco Steaks, we've tried oh, them yeah, and they were okay. good. And then the bottom, unfortunately, so far has been Lillo's. Yeah. But that doesn't mean they're bad. I, I just, enjoyed Lillo's. Yeah, Jeff liked it more than I did. But, like, it was just too many onions. And too like, big of yeah. the onions. Like, I, I want onions. I want onions in my cheesesteak because I like the flavor that the onions give the cheesesteak. But I don't want it to be an onion, like a cheese onion rule. And, and like, in Peach's defense, she wanted to go back there today to give them a redemption yeah. but I said no let's go somewhere new so. our original plan today was we wanted to try out one of the barbecue places that was suggested to us months ago when we were looking for a dinner idea um, and we had posted in the South Jersey food scene like hey we're looking for barbecue in this area willing to drive about 30 minutes give us suggestions and we got quite a few suggestions some we've had some we don't count as like legit barbecue like mission barbecue is not barbecue there it's like, decent barbecue but it's not it's what we're fast looking food. for like we want like someone like like legit barbecue we don't want a chain yeah we want a, a like small like, business mm -hmm. real deal barbecue yeah. mission barbecue is like the fast food of barbecue mm -hmm. Kind of like Famous Dave's, even though we love, love Famous Dave's yeah, too. Yeah, Famous Dave had good food. But, again, but they're chains. Yeah. So we had been uh, recommended Sweet Lucy's in Philly. Uh, I don't know how loud that's going to be, so I'll cut yeah. it out. So Sweet Lucy's in Philly. Um, big Swerve in... I'm not really sure where exactly that one's located. Then there was Back Alley in Pensalkin. Back Alley in Pensalkin, yeah. Kingfish in, I guess that would be Shemong. Yeah, which we've always passed a lot. Never yeah. actually been there. Sometimes it's got weird hours. A lot of these places have weird hours. Yeah. Then and there was then a couple. There were a couple more. And every single place, aside from Sweet Lucy's, was closed today. Yeah. And Jeff and I were just like, we were driving and we were, going, we were like, okay, we're going to go to Sweet Lucy's. And we are on the way, and then Jeff was like, oh, City Six is right near there. We can stop there, too. They're not open today. They're not open today. And Jeff was like, well, I don't want to drive all the way over there because we, we want to try and get as much, like, done in one area, especially because that is, like, a 30-minute drive. And yet, 30 minutes is not a lot, but if you are having to cross a bridge and pay bridge toll, like, why not try and get as much done as you can? Um, so we're like, okay. So then we kind of went back and forth with like, oh, do you want like Chinese? And then Jeff was like, well, what about a cheesesteak? And I was like, okay. So he originally was like, let's check out Bryn Bradley. And I was like, I've never heard of them. I had heard them mentioned a lot on the Facebook groups, South Jersey Facebook groups. And a lot of people were saying they were really good. And I heard it on multiple posts, multiple people saying it. And I was like, oh, they're going to end up being closed today because that's our luck. But we looked and they said that they were open. But then as we were driving down here, Jeff was like, it does say to call first, like on all the groups because they do sell out. A lot. We didn't do that. No, we didn't. Um, and also we saw that there was a distilling place, Striped Lion. Yeah. They're not open today. So we're not going <laughs> to them. Um, no, we have really bad luck. Whenever we're out during the week, it's always like stuff's closed. I was really hoping I'd be able to get my doctor's appointment done and then lay out at our pool, but it is overcast and super gloomy and it looks like it's going to storm any minute. And like, there's just, it's, there's, sometimes there's no good way, because if we have a random, like, we're not supposed to be off today. Well, so I we're know, like, hey, um, but normally, yeah. we're not off on Wednesday. So when something like this happens, we're like, oh, what can we try that we normally can't try or is usually too busy when we can try it? Mm -hmm. But then a lot of places aren't open today. So it kind of sucks because you kind of have to find the people that are open and the people that you can get to. I, I was going to suggest next, uh, 
next Sunday, not this coming Sunday, the following, so two Sundays from now, is our anniversary. We've been together for 12 years, and we were planning on... 12 years? What? Who are you? This is why people come Maybe so. we've been together for 12 years. that a try. I mean, uh, so that's next week. This week we are doing something on Saturday. This is Dave Ferris at, at a brewery. Broken Goblet Brewing over in Pennsylvania. Super exciting. So that's going to that's gonna be a fun time. Um, have not seen them since the Warped Tour of 1998. I so don't think I've ever seen them. That's uh, going to be a blast from the past. And uh, yeah, so this was a big win. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely Highly be back. Them. We'll definitely Highly. recommend them. Yeah, um, their menu is not very large, which, in my opinion, I feel like that always works. Like when you do, like, do less, better, yes. not a lot, kind of mediocre. Yeah, it's always better because then you're good at what you do. So they have cheese steaks, uh, two different sizes: ten ounce, sixteen ounce. They do, um, what is that? A chicken cutlet, a chicken parm, a BB banger, not, what is that? 10 ounces shaved ribeye, fried onions, American and whiz on a seated bowl, well, so like a double cheese. Um, then they have cold hoagies, they do an Italian hoagie, a mixed cheese hoagie, a turkey hoagie, and a chicken Caesar wrap. They do a Caesar salad and a garden salad, and then, um... I thought this was short. It is short. Yeah. I was having issues, I couldn't see. The picture I took of the menu was the garden. But, so, you know, small menu, but tasty food. Hmm. Small menu, tasty food. So this was a win mm -hmm. recommendation. Um, people I, ask in the future, hey, where should I go to give you cheesesteak? Should be one of, the, yeah. one of the places. I mean, you don't just say it. it depends on where they're they're yeah. at as well. And you know, but yeah. I, I say five out of five. Yep, definitely a five out of five. Yeah. So uh, is this gonna be a standalone? Yeah, this is gonna be just a standalone okay. thing. Well, um, if you enjoyed this video give it a like and comment down below if you've ever had it or what your favorite cheesesteak place is and maybe we can try there if it's in Jersey or PA or Delaware. <laughs> you know, I'm going to say it. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm in Delaware, Delaware, but we're not in yeah. Delaware right um, now. So, uh, if you like this video, then definitely subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and um, first and foremost, we are a podcast, and you can check us out, Pumpkin and Peach Podcast, anywhere that podcasts are, um, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio. It's very quiet right now. Yeah. Um, so, thanks for being here, and we appreciate you. Bye. See ya.